properly function. Um, thanks very much, Kahir. Look, first of all, I want to also welcome the women that are here with us today and commend their courage and bravery and also all of the women who, who spoke up. Um, we owe them a debt of gratitude and it's definitely not an easy thing to do in any way, shape or form, but particularly when you're dealing with um, such a male-dominated um, organisation. And unfortunately, I also actually want to commend my own colleague as well, Deputy Sarah Clark, for all of the work that she's done in relation to this. Um, too often we're in here debating issues that have negatively affected women. Um, and when I heard that there was going to be a statutory inquiry, I welcome that and I think that's good. And I also want to specifically state that I welcome that um, any allegations of rape or sexual assault will be handled by Angarda Siakana because I think that's really, really important. And I think there's probably a lot of people that didn't realise that that actually wasn't the case. They didn't understand maybe that, the, the, you know, it was a different type, type of a system and we definitely need to see that done. So I welcome that. But I will say, as somebody that has had a, a lot of engagement with survivors of the mother and baby institutions, um, and I've seen there, I suppose, hope at first when they heard there was going to be an inquiry and then how long that went on for the terms of reference really, at the end, it proved they weren't fit for purpose and that investigation didn't really, I suppose, it left a lot more anger and hurt and a lot more questions. And from my experience with that, I definitely don't want to see that being repeated. And I think it's really, really important that the terms of reference as my colleague has said, we want uh, timeframes for that, but it is so important that they're done correctly and that they're um, done in consultation with the, the women, but that they really are fit for purpose and we don't see any more repeats of what we had already. Um, I want to say as well that I'm conscious that much of what has been said here today and in the media has significantly damaged the reputation of the defence forces and undermines the really dedicated women and men who commit to a life of service for the public good. So I say shame on all those in positions of power who have let those brave people down, shame on those who have allowed female service women to be raped, attacked and assaulted, and shame on the bullies who intimidated, coerced and controlled those under their supervision. Again, I just reiterate my uh, colleague's call for a timeline, but the big thing here is it needs to be in, in serious consultation and the, the, the views and wishes of the women need to be front and centre and need to be respected. Respected, Thank you, Deputy. We now move to